Thank you for listening to this Crew Network production. You can now listen to all the Crew Network podcasts on thecrewnetwork.net. Live from the Crew Studios in Highland, California. Check one, two. Boy, night. Good night. For the Bucks Effect with your host, Chuck Bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna do oh, an episode, but yeah. I was like, "Boys want an episode." They came over to do an episode, and you guys wanted content, so you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna give it to you. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. To my left, um, he is the Undertaker's long lost cousin. He um, obviously yeah. he's somebody's daddy, uh, as we did here today on the phone mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. some, nope. some nope. child was calling him yep. and you know and wanted him over it's, you know because he is somebody's daddy and um give it up for drayvon what's cracking what's cracking what's cracking yeah 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 right across from me i uh, you know what he is my favorite comic at the three i am brewery that is true. Yep. because you know it's not he's not the funniest he has his moments. But, uh, you know, he has his moments. <laughs> he has his moments. But the thing is, it, the thing is, he he tries, okay? <laughs> you guys make and, me sound like a fucking special. And, <laughs> and you know what? It only takes Dirty one beater. person to laugh for him to continue those jokes. <laughs> that is true. That's all it takes. That's all he gives a fuck about. <laughs> so give it up for dick power. Hey man, thanks for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that oh, You know, starting with your. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got through. A you know, you know what? I went up, but I was like, ah, oh, damn, I feel. Uh. You know what? He's the fastest, not the strongest. He's not the best looking. The pike collar, little Jimmy tries. <laughs> that motherfucker tries, dude. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get a student of the month. <laughs> That's what I felt like. You remember getting like participation awards? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah dude like as a kid like i was never that bright where like i would get like a, a honor roll or whatever it was like here's a participation award yeah. Like, hell yeah dude i'm here i've been here all 365 days of the year yeah, damn right. That's what I was special yeah attendance. dude you did good you ain't the best athlete you ain't the best uh student yeah but he fucking did. tries yeah. dude yeah. You know, kind of you know. a smart and he shows up and that deserves an award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That fucking deserves an yeah. award, dude. He fucking tries. Out of all the comedians. Sometimes too hard. Yeah. Out of all the comedians in the world, he's one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he no. tries the hardest, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do that on stage, uh, that intro on stage for you. <laughs> uh, but I, was, I thought I was going to go after you, and I opened for you. <laughs> So I did that. I did that. Uh, I, I didn't do it because I was going to say, I was like, you know what? Dick Parker just needs one person to laugh and he will continue doing those side fucking ways and Hitler jokes, whatever it takes. Yeah. All, he just needs one person yeah. to laugh. That's, that's all. It, that's all he needs. Hey, if one person thinks it's funny, dude, I'll do it. If one person thinks it's, it's funny, he'll do it. Look, the thing is, it's like, okay, there's someone else out there who's a little bit fucked up in that same area. You know? If yeah. they're laughing, there's something they're laughing about. Hiroshima. Because yeah, right. we did a, uh, we did a, uh, right, another man. stand up. Yeah. Pro Lama. <laughs> we did stand up, uh, Thursday and, um, we brought the crowd again. It was us. Yeah. I don't know why we're paying when we're bringing the crowd, and it was our people. And uh, I mean, just like I said, it's our. It's our, that's at the end of the day, it's most of our people. So that's why who's laughing under shit. I mean, we could have been not funny, but uh, SG hypes up these uh, <laughs> hypes up his crowd enough. Mm-hmm. We're like, we just go out there, we can say anything. Yeah, I could just start <laughs> farting into the fucking thing, Ooh. dude. We could because you know, you know, some of these guys know us from the podcast. But we could say anything, and these motherfuckers were, you know, they were a good crowd. Um, but now your typical crowd, you know, like when you go to the, the Worthington or whatever, it's a front of comics, is a hit and miss, dude. And they, I mean, they're so bland. Yeah. And I hate to say it, like I said, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm trying not to be a hater, but it's like, dude, I, I stopped going there because it's like, man, like. It is. It's, it's not salty, bro. They got, they got no flavor in that place. There's no flavor in it. And I don't know how these guys are. I mean, some of them are funny, but I'm not going to name any names, but like some of these guys are out there doing shit. And I'm like, how? C's. <laughs> no, no, C's yeah, funny. C's yeah, funny. C's funny. Yeah. No, yeah, he's but one you of can only say ones. his name and then, then people, well, he'll laugh at it. But 
Yeah, like there's certain names you can't say or no, we wouldn't say. Most of our it's crowd that like our that do our shit whenever they're funny. That go to the the, the three iron, they're funny. Yeah. The the guys that don't come, those are typically not the like I've seen them and then like oh okay. I guess maybe I haven't seen enough of it, but I, I, I'm pretty much sure, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. They're enough. the ones that show up every once in a while when they feel like it. Yeah. And that's fine. Well, I mean, they show up. You got a lot of guys. I mean, yeah, they, they, I mean it's it's a grind. There's a, there there are those out there who are just going to every everything they can. Yeah. That that is their career. Their that's life. good. You know, and, and I that, get it. And I, I get it. Yeah, and props to that. But I, I think if if personally, I think if they just try harder on their content, because I'm always come up with at least one one new joke a day. I don't try it out because it's like you know not everything is gonna hit with this crowd. A lot of it won't. <laughs> like, a lot of it's gonna be a miss. A lot of a lot of my shit's gonna be a miss. But if I tried it at the W, a lot of it would go over because a lot of it's like for jokes that other comedians would get. Mm. But I'm trying to change that shit up because being a comedian's comedian is one thing, but you yeah. want, you want the masses to laugh as well. Exactly. No, I um I I do I knew I pretty much do a new set every time I go up there. Or I'll pull from like old shit that I did that that did good, and then kind of put it together. But I've noticed, like I said, I kind of, I'm definitely more taking my time. I get more comfortable mm-hmm. or loose, you know? That's why I think the 10 minutes goes so fast. It does, very fast. Because, like, I'll pause now and, like, I'll think of stuff and then I got, you know, like you're supposed to. Yeah, exactly. Because when I first did it, I was like, <laughs> and then I fucking speed through the jokes and it would, I wouldn't even let it breathe. No, yeah, it definitely needs to breathe. Yeah, it yeah. definitely yeah. needs to breathe. Yeah, some of my yeah. jokes yesterday I was doing that. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I'm not going to explain it. They get yeah. it or they don't. Yeah, and and that's and that and that could be part of it. Like even if it's not a good joke, as long as you kind of give it a pause, mm-hmm. you're gonna get a laugh. Because mm-hmm. it's even the awkwardness of like you got it right. that didn't go well. <laughs> if you don't get a laugh, you might get a little snicker. yeah. And that's yeah. and that, and, it, <laughs> and, and 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 that counts. Mm-hmm. But the great part is bombing because when you learn to bomb, or you get, you know you, you get comfortable in bombing, you do like you do understand the the pot like you you do um like you you know how to get around it. Mm-hmm. You start learning how to yeah. get around it. And then essentially that's the biggest fear is like, oh, I go up there and make an ass of myself. That's pretty funny. But that's that's the, that's uh, that's the open mic. The open mic's supposed to, you're supposed to make it, you know, yeah. eat a bag of dicks. That's essentially it. So, but I mean, like I said, for the most part, we bring the crowd. So we haven't had a, we haven't had a bad week <laughs> in the last <laughs> couple months. We've been doing pretty good. Yeah. But for the most part, like I said. We're starting to put piece together the the pieces to the puzzle. What works, what doesn't work, mm-hmm. you know, the crowd, the crowd work, and all that stuff. But it's all good. Uh, DK is not on the show today, um, unfortunately. Woo-hoo. Unfortunately, he is yeah. very sick, dude. And uh, I mean, fuck it, we'll talk about it. I mean, not a lot. I mean, you know, right if now, you go to the regulars, yeah. you the regulars, you listen to the show, you want to know. Yeah, your toilet's like, yeah. Yeah, my toilet's like, whoo, whoo. No, but uh, it's sad because we all went to, uh, all of us, SG, all of us, uh, Dick Power, um, Timmy, Timmy, and um, myself and, and Dick Power all went to um, Total Wine the other day. And uh, we did, we took DK, and he just seemed so weak. Like, he did seem very weak. So we're very concerned, actually, you know, because, you know, obviously we make jokes and shit, but we we, we do love him. Mm-hmm. And uh, he is one of the crew members, one of the originals, okay, and they're from high school. And we're all actually been, we've all known each other for a long time. But anyways, we've done, we've been doing shit forever. So, like he is, he's like a brother. So, you know, when he see him, we see him like that. He was moving like a 90-year-old man. Yeah. Like barely moving. It was like we watched him age, dude. It was super concerning. So it was like, fuck, dude. And like, But, uh, you know, of course, we're dickheads. So we, we make jokes. <laughs> <coughs> we were fucking we, we making jokes, dude. We weren't dickheads. So. Yeah. Because he still want to go. And I'm like, Phew. Yeah, what the hell was he thinking? Hurry up. There's <laughs> shit to do. He's like, before you guys drop me back off at the convalescent hospital. Yeah. Pick me up a... He barely got in the car. It took him 10 minutes to get in the car, right? And it really did. Really I'm not did. bullshitting. We went to Total Wine. All of a sudden, he went to... I guess he, I guess he tells Dick Power he's going to the bathroom. All of a sudden, on the PA system, Chuck, Chuck, what the fuck? Yeah, DK's in the front, and he's passed out. He fell. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess he had a seizure. Oh, my God. 
what the fuck is going on? And they go outside, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I got a seizure. And I'm like, no, dude, you're drunk. <laughs> You drunk. You're Get drunk. up. And I kick him. <laughs> you <a> damn hobo. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, dude. So SG takes it obviously serious. And then Total Wine's like all about it because they don't want to get sued. No. So they get like a fucking cherry. He's like, oh, my my son, my son has seizures too. Yep. My son has seizures. And that's great, man. Yep. This, this is my fucking no exactly. seizure. He's a drunk. This man is a full blown <laughs> alcoholic. He's a full blown alcoholic. <laughs> that, that Rinks of is. liquor. Yeah. Um. Anyways, ugh, Coco. His breath smelled like <laughs> fucking stinky ass. His breath smelled like his breath. Yeah, his breath smelled like dick. He's bleeding out of his mouth. It looks like shit. Semen on his beard. We help him up. Yeah, <laughs> there semen in his be. beards. Yeah, there might be assholes stretched. <laughs> <laughs> we he had pick lot of, his ass he had up. Lot of come donuts, dude. So instead of we we insist on taking uh, an ambulance, take him right so he can get admitted <gasps> to the emergency room. He's like, Who's gonna pay for that? Like my mama, the right. taxpayers, dude. Yeah, you're in you California, fucking idiot. dude. <laughs> you got no fuck, dude. The taxpayers, <laughs> give an immigrants free health care. We'll give your fucking yeah. bum ass some free health care. <laughs> Get the fucking no. Nah, I'm going there. Take drop me off at my mother's. Yeah, she ended up drop me on my mother's. So she ended up taking him. Um, <laughs> and I just an update. I guess he's had a severe concussion or um, seizure, and then eventually got a concussion. Mm-hmm. Eventually uh, died, and he's no longer with us. Uh, but, but before he did die, the doctor said he shouldn't have ever had sex <laughs> with men. Ever with men? Ever with anything? <laughs> with anything? With anything that lives and breathes. Anything. <laughs> and DK was like, "I don't know why the doctor told me that." I was like, "I do." Yeah, <laughs> and it brought me closure. So I don't uh, care. Nice. DK feels good. It just it, it brought us all closure. Yeah. <laughs> The doctor verified the thing we all thought. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guess he's doing okay. Um, what what did what what is an update, uh, Dick Power? I guess he's good. I mean, he didn't sound good. He, he said good. he says he's <laughs> yeah. good. But, he never you know, sounds good. If if they didn't diagnose the reason that he went there, right? That you know, if you don't know why you're having seizures, then you don't know how to prevent them. Right. So you're going to be driving behind the wheel. You don't know what you're going to be doing helping your dad. Yeah, dude's gonna bust a macho man. Yeah, and what if macho he's like man trimming fucking... his dad's like hair, and he has scissors, and he has oh, a seizure, shit. and just kills his dad. And this is a chain effect, and he yeah. lands on something and causes a fire, and his whole family dies. Yeah, and then his mom's burnt to death. Mom, <laughs> fuck, dude. Well, you said fire. <laughs> mm. Okay, I guess she can get out. <laughs> no, she'll get out. She'll make it. All she right. smells and, the, and, and this story, she makes it. She makes it. It's a story. But, in our but, story, she makes it. Yeah, but, uh, but she has to bury her husband and son. Right. <laughs> oh, and her dogs, they didn't make it. Oh, no. Because she has to save herself. Oh. It's her or the dog. You know, one, one dog makes it. Maybe, right. But not the big one, not the big black one. Why not? Because it's the big black one. <laughs> <laughs> big black. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Uh, rhymes <laughs> with Jigger. Well, you weren't giving an answer, yeah. so I had to give one. Yeah, dude. Oh, man. Dick. It's the big black one. That's yeah. why it dies. Um, <laughs> Jesus. I'm God not, damn. I'm not racist. <laughs> Neither am I. I'm pretty sure you're racist, dude. <laughs> I hate everybody equally. <laughs> I don't think so, dude. <laughs> I'm not racist. No, but dude. We all have a little racism. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone's got a little. Everybody. A lot of black people are racist, too. Fudge. Nope. Yeah, dude. Oh, absolutely. Hell yeah. Nope. You don't think black people are racist? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are some out there. Oh, there's plenty. Yeah, there every, is plenty there's, almost every black person I've met is like, goddamn honky, <laughs> dumbass white boy. My, my, exactly. My best friend well, that was a nice one, too. Black and he ain't racist. And there's some fuckhead no, I mean, white boys. That's what I'm saying. But not, not every black person. Why are we going to talk about race every fucking month? Because it's good times. It's good times. Anyways, um, he's doing He's doing better. Uh, but I'm sure he needs to stay in the hospital oh, yeah. and then be hooked up to an IV and not to uh, vodka. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> not good. That's can't drink wrong. vodka. And, uh, and <laughs> Famous words. Can't drink vodka that long. And, uh, yeah, dude, we had to pretty much hold his fucking IV bag on the way into his house. Colostomy. <laughs> pretty much had to fucking just throw him in there, dude. Pretty fucked up. Get the fuck yeah, in there, dude. motherfucker. It really did feel like... Um, Picking him up reminded me of trying to like take Mark into the hospital. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh shit, this dude is—he's not all there right now. Easy. 
Easy, Richie. <laughs> that hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> I go quit fucking fighting. Yeah, quit fucking fighting it. Get in the fucking truck. You hurt me. Fucking them up. Fucking easy, Richie. Ain't no easy about to Get your fucking ass in there, guys. We're at age that all the people start dying around us. That's the way it is, yeah. guys. We could we could wake up tomorrow. Someone's gonna be dead, dude. I could wake up dead tomorrow. You could wake up dead tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. We're no, we're approaching forties, dude. Uh, uh, Drayvon's always in his late forties. Yeah. No, and, I'm still uh, early. I'm still <laughs> early. DK's on his ninety fifth birthday. Yeah, <laughs> DK's almost a hundred. What are you talking <laughs> me about? and me and Rich are pretty much. Uh, we were born the same year, but we're um, Richard's technically the youngest out of all of us. I'm only a couple months away from him, but yeah. Yeah, dude, we'll get forty. Nah, no, crazy. I don't, I don't get feel up it, there in age. You gotta, do, you know, you gotta, you can't take advantage of your health, guys. Nope. You pound liquor every single day, do drugs, your health, and you worship um, Allah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just gonna happen to you. Hala, 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 Shout out to all of our Muslim uh, listeners. <laughs> Are there any? Hala, hala, hala. Hala, hala, hala. Hala, hala, hala. That's a new podcast. Hala, hala, hala. Hala, hala, hala. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. That's uh, fucked up. <laughs> We're, I don't know why we fucking just shit on everything. Like that's that. that's why I was telling Brandon. I said they, that's why. Um, his typical brand's like, yeah, you can get the Aquabats in your show, Dad. And I said probably do, but the thing is, you're gonna look at one of these episodes like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. I'm good. It's they not talking good. About over there? <laughs> I just kind of like the back commander on Aquabats and uh, the basis uh, Crash or Mormons. Oh, there you go. We have something in common with them. <laughs> and. Um, the lead singer of um, The Killers, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That guy's a Mormon, oh, shit. too. Yeah, him and the drummer. And um, the lead, uh, the band uh, Imagine Dragons were Mormons, too. Yeah. Wow. Crazy Mor- amount of <laughs> Mormons that went door to door, dude. And the crew, those motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember those Mormons. Every time I opened up the door, they'd be there and just shut the door right on their face. <laughs> yeah, dude. Wait, let me save your soul. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I, it was um, a couple days ago. Over the weekend, I was going down to uh, the gas station by my house, and I got my freaking beanie on. And everything's freaking cold outside. Walking down, there's these two guys. I, I think they were Mormon because they were dressed all with the uh, shirts and ties and everything. And they're like, "Oh, hi!" And I was like, "Hi," because I had a mask on too. And they're like, "Hey, um, you want, can, can we talk to you about Jesus? You know, do, do you need to be saved?" And I was like, nah, "Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going." Yeah, <laughs> no, dude, it's all a, a corrupt business. It's all it's actually all religion's business. Yeah. So it is funny that, like I said, some people shit on um, Christians, shit on Mormons, and then Mormons nope. really don't shit on a lot of people, but they do in behind closed doors. Oh, for sure. They do. And oh, um, and Catholic, and they all <laughs> shit on each other. The funny part is, it's all fake. Yeah, it is. It's all bullshit, guys. That's like religious. Like that's like religion's way of being a racist. How else do you think your fucking bishops fucking driving a Porsche? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or you know, screwing little kids in the in the back. Oh yeah, exactly. your priest is kids screwing little kids in the fucking <laughs> Epstein Island. Yep. Yeah, dude, shit's all corrupt, dude. Yeah. You guys are fucking. You guys need to wake up. I mean, it's really in front of you. Yeah. No. It's and truly it in front of you. It, it has, has been, been for a long time. No. I mean, scientists even proved that it's not real. Yep. None of that shit's real. I mean, people like guys get get to it. Back in the days, dude, they tripped on some shrooms, seen some shit, started their own thing to control you, yeah, and yeah. to give you have you given their money your money. Pretty pretty clever too. Pretty clever shit. Now, if you know, there's a church out there that you don't pay no money, and you just go and they give you shit, and then you just cool and talk about God and show me that church. But that church don't exist because it's church. Yep. You know, there's someone who runs that church, someone that has to build that church and keep the lights on. Yep. Uh, his name is God. His name is God. <laughs> <laughs> the big G O D. That's God. Ladies and gentlemen. There's only one God. God's like this God is, is my the church. Almighty. God <laughs> could be the sun. <laughs> and God necessarily ain't a being, guys. Mm-hmm. Could mm-hmm. be the sun. Who knows? Well, no, they worship know. the sun as God, too. Yep. 
And there's plenty of suns. There's actually more than one sun in the uh, universe. Plenty of suns, hundreds of suns, millions of suns. Mm-hmm. Because this is a galaxy, you guys. We're in the Milky Way. We're one galaxy, okay? We only know through our telescopes of only so many planets, a lot of dwarf planets, right? Nope. There's planets beyond those planets. Mm-hmm. We don't even there's know what the other galaxies as far as the eye can see. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> we don't even know what the fuck is in the ocean. So I'm like, dude. Oh, there's so much crazy shit in and the ocean. And they just proven that the aliens are real. Yeah. Government admitted it. So, guys, still believe in all that shit? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Disneyland is really? Oh, God. <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, more man. More man. Disneyland has an alien. Mm-hmm. The Jack Skellington. Oh, yeah. Dude, the last Slender. bit of listeners. <laughs> Slenderman. The last bit of listeners that we had on this show were all religious. Just turned it off. <laughs> Just shit on religion. What the hell is this shit? We got racist and we got shit on religion. Right. So no one wants to be in the show. Man, I don't give a fuck. Dude, I don't give a fuck. And if my work's listening to this shit, I don't get, fire me. I don't give a shit, dude. He deletes his episode. I don't give a <laughs> shit, dude. I know. I just I totally yeah. delete it. No, dude. I don't give a shit, dude. I mean, if it, if it's too much for the truth, it's the truth. Man, it's the fucking. Am I, have I told a lie on this show? Probably. Um, <laughs> probably we, we do it all Maybe. the time probably but you yeah. know what I mean, at we, the time know, it was the we truth that we like him oh wait, i'm saying that's like a lie. shit changes dude at the, the time. time i thought it was the truth <laughs> like yeah you gotta think like do we go out of our way do we try to mislead people because we're getting paid or some shit no no Hell no, we don't. no, fuck no. the only sponsor we got is lux bidets lux oh. bidets here to stay guys which reminds me, <laughs> you got a stinky <laughs> asshole like DK Murphy. Coco, our Coco love. Coco needs a bud day. Oh, she does. Because the other day, um, uh, Lux bidets. The other day, my wife said, "Hey, you know, when you get crippled, who's gonna wipe your ass?" I said, "Lux bidets, <laughs> bitch." Lux bidets. I said, that. "Shut your fucking trap hole and listen to me, because I'm a man." <laughs> And I said, hey, listen here, sweetie. She yeah. looked away. I said, listen here, sweetie. Grab her by her face. I grabbed her by her face. Yeah. I said, say it. Um, oh, oh, man. And then I started like <laughs> moving her moving jaw, jaw like, it, like yeah. she was above it. Yeah. I said, I'm the man, right? That's the way to do it. All right, Becky yeah. Lynch. And yeah. um, now light my cigar. <laughs> <laughs> I did, dude. And I said, listen. I said, I'm fucking the man. And you are Lux bidet's using, you know, yeah. I'm using Lux bidet. Yeah. You're not right? using that anymore. She has to use another restroom. No, she didn't. Yeah. Yeah, good. No, no, that's true. I have a dedicated restroom. Yeah, she doesn't get to use the Lux bidet anymore. No, no, no. no. She doesn't use it. Yeah, you can't speak ill of the Lux bidet. She, she's still in the fucking uh, Stone Age using oh. toilet paper. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sprinkle some fucking itch, itchy powder, itchy powder <laughs> on your toilet paper so you can go to Lux bidet's. A good, uh, that's a good method. It's a good prank, huh? Good method. I like that. Yeah, I just thought of it right now. Yeah, I'm then, full of good ideas. Leave the Lux bidet like starter kit. Uh huh. Like leave it there. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> she's like, you have a choice. I have to install this, guys. It's like a shower for your toilet. Yeah. Like if they installed a jet for your butt, the, for your butt, and you know what? it helps. <laughs> I'll tell you, honestly, <laughs> it helps with constipation, dude. Oh, for sure. When you have a like a real hard shit, like we just had some good. Chi- Try tip today, chimichurri. Mm-hmm. Good food, right? I always feed you guys good, right? Yep. Good stuff. You know? Good stuff. So when you have a hard shit, uh-huh. okay, and you need to get the shit out of your uh, asshole because it get, obviously you know gets all fucking flabbergasted in there if you don't oh, have yeah. enough fiber. Mm-hmm. Like I'm assuming, um, Tra- Drayvon here, he's got hard shits. Oh, okay, probably. if he had a Lux bidet, <laughs> would help him with the hard shits. Blow that shit right out because he goes, boot, yeah. yeah boot, and it shoots right in your ass. But, you know, the only downfall is if you leave a little, little water in your asshole. Oh, yeah, for sure. And you need to fart, and, it, and yeah. you squirt water. Get some of that Lux water out. Did you, um, <laughs> <laughs> did you, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, happened to me before. I'm, a, I'm like, ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ooh. Lord. <laughs> Don't shit myself. It was a bit more wet than I remember. It didn't feel like it was going to be wet. <laughs> it's just Lux water. Slugs water. I mean, it still stinks because <laughs> that, well, that was the water in your colon. Yeah. But this is Lux sm- water. It still smells like I shit. This is the worst fucking commercial for Lux. <laughs> <It's> 
Wait, are they telling I'm pretty sure they just pulled their sponsorship. <laughs> because are you guys saying that you blow water up ass? Yes. <laughs> because I, I told SG, I said, dude, yeah, it blows water. He's like, I thought it was the whole point. <laughs> I said, no, dude. It's supposed to, just, it's supposed to go to the surface of your asshole. Yeah. It's not supposed to go to your asshole. Yeah, it's not supposed to blow fucking fire hose up there. He said... <laughs> it's like it's like ninety fucking psi's in your ass. Yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's fucking a lot, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, you gotta, you gotta throw that shit gotta, in fucking high gear. That's a, that's I like it when it's strong, dude. I like a nice stream of yeah. my ass. No, I like the way that my ass is fucking clean. I do, dude. I really, I really do like it, guys. There's DK mode on it. <laughs> <laughs> it just spits water on your shit and oh. leaves it there. <laughs> Guys, I think the new house. When I build a house, oh, yeah. I get a new house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me one of those thousand dollar fucking toilets, dude. That open up when yeah. you, yeah, the nice one with has the heater. Yep. Oh my god, I could live <sighs> on that toilet, dude. I could fall asleep. <laughs> I could see you living on that. Toilet. Oh. <laughs> Sit on that toilet. I'll do it. Those ones too. Will my uh, turn. My turn. If you're if you're a female, one of the few few females listening to the show, there's also one that fucking cleans your pussy. All right. What if we? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> the, 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 this, dust, is, this has inspired me. Oh, God. <laughs> we, do, we do a separate podcast, right? <laughs> it's called On the John. <laughs> and all three of us are on toilets, and we're talking about the same thing, but via different toilets. <laughs> like, dude, is this a podcast? People are going to be like, is this a podcast of three men taking a shit and talking? <laughs> like, yes, it is. <laughs> That's what people have their best you ideas. <laughs> yeah. You have your best ideas in the shitter, dude. I'm telling you. You do. Or in the shower. You could be shitting in the shower. That's a great idea, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we could shit in the shower and record that. It's a fucking great idea. Thanks, man. Maybe that had to be on our OnlyFans page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. Because that, that's content. That's good content. It's right good there. content. Very but good no, content. for realsies, dude, I can't live without the bidet. I feel dirty without it. Yeah. Like a dirty twat, but it will clean your twat. Yeah, if you have one. If you have a twat, if you have a twat. Clean it. <laughs> it says female hygiene, what, whatever, and it it cleans your twat. Twat setting. There's a twat so setting. I swear to God, dude. I swear to God, there is a twat <laughs> setting, dude. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, will it will it Coco, clean get over DK? Here. No, 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 no. Coco, <laughs> get over <laughs> here. It, no, uh, it's a bidet. <laughs> Does it reject him? <laughs> Coco looks like a sheep. See her fucking legs, dude. Yeah, her her legs. feet are all fucking chopped yeah. up. She got a little fur right there. What are you oh, doing, Coco? Her. Look at her. Oh, She's getting old. She's next to die. Yeah. Well, maybe we maybe just like all a, die at the same time. Yeah, it'd be like Joe, his dad, Coco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be a lot of death this year. This so could be a lot of death this year, dude. 2024. <laughs> 24 okay. already started with, with hey, a couple of them in 20, January. 2020 <laughs> was, was just the beginning, dude. It really was. That shit just, that, that's like, it started it the engine. It stopped. It's all, yeah. It's all COVID did. Yep. Start the engine and everything. There's just all the going. ghosts are saying, because I listen, <laughs> I listen to Huff Paranormal, and all the ghosts are saying that 2030 is the, la- is the year. That humanity ends because there'll be so much bombings. <laughs> oh, ghost, you know nothing. <laughs> I got this ghost app, guys. Maybe I should just play it right now. Yeah. I'm trying to get some. Go- uh, you know nothing. I think we should get a. a we should start a podcast where where we get ghosts to argue with each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not what you guys said. <laughs> Here's what you guys yeah. said. <laughs> Here's what Elizabeth, who says she was shot in the head out in the back alley, Here we go. Else is telling us. Here we go. Also, too, guys, there's a Lux. Um, Lux. Um, there's a film festival coming up, and uh, that's what we're gonna do, dude. But we're gonna ask Ghost Box right now some questions about DK. Oh, when's okay? When's I don't know you? if this is accurate. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, with us. Let's see here. So I guess I got different uh, options for. Um, let's see. For voices, this is child, female, child, male, <laughs> mixed, genders, child. Let's do that. <laughs> child. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds nice and creepy. <laughs> right. It does sound creepy. <laughs> 
All right, let's do this. Spirit of Joe is definitely here. <laughs> is the spirit of Joe here? Okay. Okay. Um, is Joe going to die soon? Well, that sounded fucking creepy, <laughs> that sounded dude. Real that sounded, creepy. Dude, that just gave me chills. It's so creepy. <laughs> Did you say really? <laughs> I don't know if it said really. It was hard to tell what it said. Hard to tell. It kind of came in like halfway yeah, through. Yeah, may, maybe it thinks like we're such asshole friends. Even the ghost <laughs> are we like, really? asshole friends? I'm gonna take that as a no. <laughs> yeah, no, that means we're cool. We're yeah. cool, right? Are we cool with you? Are we cool with you? It's lost. I think it said Xbox. I think, I think the ghost wants to play Xbox. Yeah, yeah, no, I got kid. a PS4. <laughs> I got a it PS4. Like, it sounded like you said, I suppose. Oh. Did you say I suppose or Xbox? Me. All right, dude, I'm getting away from co- uh, problems. <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> Whoa, brother. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> All right, dude. We're going to go to male voice. Oh, God. And um, <laughs> uh, is there any <laughs> is there anybody that we know that's dead here? That's um, not, that sounds like me. <laughs> Is that is this the voice of Richard? Uh, let's see. When uh, did you die? When did you die? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you German? Whoa, dude. So then about uh, that shit off for a while, dude. <laughs> yeah. Mm, Holy shit, dude. Damn. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck, he had chills. a mouthful, dude. He gave me a chill. It just sounds creepy, dude. No, fuck, I'm getting the chills, dude. I don't know if this is real or not, or whoever the fuck made this this fucking app, dude. That sounded creepy as fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. Bro, that gave me the chills, man. What the fuck? He went on for a minute, and the only thing I heard was scared. Only I heard wor- spirit. Only word I could make out. I heard spirit. I couldn't make out a lot of it. It sounded like talking in gibberish. It did. It sounded um, like Lithuanian. Very low, almost like German gibberish. Let's yeah. go to um, female. Female. Middle aged female. <laughs> middle age. Middle age. <laughs> <coughs> Richard, you want to ask a question? <laughs> oh, maybe your mom. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> right. Is my mom on the other side with you? Is Yolanda over there? Nah, gibberish. Let's just keep the noise gate on. Can you say anything clear in English? Hmm. Well, Are you trying to talk backwards? Or do older female? Because your mom was an older female. Mm-hmm. Is there any older females over there? <sighs> no. <laughs> sound like nothing. It we can't creepy. understand you. 
We can't understand you. Is there anything else you could say? It seriously, it, it seriously sounds like they're, they're talking backwards. It sounds like the Sims language. I think it's just uh, the noise gate. I think this is, it's pre-programmed. Yeah. And then it has to, maybe they can manipulate it. So if there's something clear, then maybe that is the spirit. So is there any spirits that want to talk to us? Uh, oh, that was the spirit of my Bert. <laughs> some chimichurri. Anybody die recently? No. Anybody die recently, like in the last couple of years? Anybody die within the last couple of days? <laughs> I take that as a no. You prick. Okay. So, this is your last opportunity to see something clear because I think, it's, like I said, there's a word track in here. You just have to make sense of it. So, come to this phone and say something clear. Okay, what do you have to say to the world? <coughs> He just said the n-word, dude. Did you want Travis to say that? Yes. <laughs> We're friend. That's not happening to me. Would you like Travis to say the n-word? <laughs> Whoa. Not happening. What happens if Travis doesn't say the n-word? I said he'll kill you. <laughs> That's what he said. He said that, dude. Yeah, I I'm speak. pretty sure he said he's gonna kill no. you. I speak possessed ghosts very well. Yeah. <laughs> you speak. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, dude. No. The kids fucking creep me out. <laughs> the kid did creep me out. <laughs> the kid is and, and, creep and, me and, out. And dude. the guy with the long like. Let me turn sentence. reverb off. See how it sounds. Um. Is there any creepy kids over there? Oh, that just sounds like a robot. I like it better with a reverb. It's way more creepier. Yeah, it is. Anyway, you can speak more clearly so we can understand you. Sound like you said no. I'm pretty sure you said the N-word again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you say no? I think it's not working now. Apparently you did, you bastard. You gonna take that shit? Wow. Yeah. All right. The the the, be the better one is um. Let the boy watch. That's what they said. The um scatter one. That one's Let the boy watch what? Scanner one. Anyways. Uh, enough of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Clearly did not work. No, because yeah. we could not understand a damn thing they said. The, the spirit box definitely works better than this. Um, yes. The spirit yeah. box works. Yeah. The spirit box works. Yes, it does. Y'all have figured out the new technology, okay? And I don't I don't blame you. Okay? <laughs> Coco, get over there. Get out of there. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> a fat bitch. <laughs> Go. Um, yeah, guys. What else? What else? What the fuck else going on? There was. Um, did you guys see that there was a guy that jumped out of a window and landed on a pole, and it and it fucked him up like a shish kebab. <laughs> Went through his asshole and through his shoulder. He was still alive until they took him to the hospital, and then then he died. Jeez. He was alive on the pole, and you seen the pole. You see the pole on his fucking shoulder. Have you guys seen that shit? No. I'm going to show it to you. That's crazy. I'm fucking sick, dude. I'm a sick fuck. Now, yeah. let me guess. He wasn't screaming anymore, right? No, dude. He was, like I said, I think he was, um, 
Like knocked out Incapacitated I don't know exactly I'll tell you what DK wishes he would go out like that <laughs> <laughs> With the pole up his yeah. ass <clears throat> DK we're gonna work some magic See if you can swap places With that guy <laughs> Swap spit As long as the pole is big and black <laughs> TK don't care. No, he don't. <laughs> Is it gonna kill me? <laughs> yeah, this one will. Yeah, it will. <laughs> we'll yeah. see. We'll drop your eyes. Have an airplane ass first. <laughs> no parachute. There it is. Oh, oh my no. lord! This is not in America, right? <laughs> ah! Oh, what no. the fuck? Oh, he's out. It went through his asshole. It went through his asshole. And he, like I said, he's still alive. God. Oh, dude. With the odds, dude, he became a kebab. (laughs) That's cringy. What are the odds? He He died, but I think that. For the, he uh, died at the hospital. Yeah, I think he oh, should, yeah. you know, just for his memory, he should get the uh, best anal award. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> sure. Or, or worst. Oh, however my they God, do it. dude. Right. That's yeah. almost as, as worse as seeing the uh, the guy on, the, uh, on a crotch rocket. So I want to say somewhere back east. And he was going down a road, and he came around a corner, and there was a semi with a trailer pulling into a warehouse. They were making a left turn. Mm-hmm. And you can hear the guy on the crotch rocket crank up like he wanted to go faster, like he was going to beat the truck. And then he realized he wasn't going to beat the truck, so then he dumped his bike, and he slid, and he got caught in the wheel well of the trailer between the wheel and the uh, where the uh, the post come down to, to yeah. park it. He got caught right in there, and instantly crushed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. Wow. Like, it was... What an idiot. I've only seen it... I saw it twice. I saw it once from his perspective, and then there was another writer... That was just out for a ride, and he just happened to be following him just by pure happenstance. And then you see it from that guy's perspective too. It's freaking crazy. Yeah, like, this guy's dude. a fucking idiot. He's gonna get himself killed. I'm gonna record it. Well, that's why. I mean, Jeez. that's why you don't do that shit. You're, you're on you're on a two wheel freaking bike. Yeah, you're not gonna outbeat a freaking semi. You could if you're really no. good. if you're like John Wick, you could do it. Okay, that's movies. No, John Wick's real. <laughs> You're not gonna. Be, you're on your your two wheel vehicle. What's with you and Bucks ruining against, my fucking dreams? <laughs> going yeah, against dude. someone that, on four wheels. Come on, you're, you're gonna lose. joke is funny. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you know what's crazy, right? Is so. <clears throat> this is gonna come out also, but um, it's just not because the mainstream media hasn't covered it, right? Okay. But you have Oprah who backed that guy, John of God. And he had his own island, and he was farming girls. He was getting them pregnant and farming the babies and selling them. He got arrested. But a lot of people don't go back and watch that episode of Oprah. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking crazy, dude. See, watch, watch, watch. And then she goes, and then she's friends with Epstein, who has his own island, right? Right. And it has all these kids. It's like fucking watching Pinocchio. There's all, all these kids going to an island, and it's like... They're being stolen by the wolf and the other guy. It's fucking nuts, dude. I guess what I'm saying is Oprah's a fucking bitch and not the saint that she is. What a fucking bitch. Next thing you know, they're going to ruin a fucking... Uh, you're going to find yeah. out Mr. Rogers is on that fucking list, too. Did you guys all see this video? It says um, somebody spotted a 10-foot-tall alien over um, these hikers. Anyways, go look. Check it out. By storm. Hikers in Brazil have shared footage of what they believe to be 10 foot tall aliens. It was filmed on the island of Ilha de Mel, about 285 miles down the coast of Sao Paulo. Two mysterious figures can be seen on the top of a hill. It's difficult to make out clearly, but they appear to be very tall and slender. Not quite what you'd expect to see on your average countryside stroll. As you'd expect, some people online are fully leaning into the conspiracy. Anyways. Yeah, it's pretty big from right there. It looks like um, it looks like a dude with a cowboy hat though, like a real tall guy. Yeah, like it does. Like, it yeah. does not look like an alien. I'm sorry. So that's what there's. <coughs> that's what we're saying. They're saying it's an alien, but everyone's saying it's it's dude, it's dude, a real tall, skinny dude with a cowboy hat. Yeah, exactly. That's most likely what it is. So anything to distract the masses from these things, the lists and shit. Right. Going on. There's, there's aliens. There's aliens now. There's guys. aliens. I tell you, there's, there's aliens. Like, 
dude, you got, they should have talked about that shit when we wouldn't care. Now right. we just we know and we accept it. So what happens. do you think is going to happen to Bill Clinton? Oh, dude, I, it's weird. Here's what's weird, right? Is they got all those names on that list, and the right. only name that's in prison is Jocelyn Maxwell. Right. Everyone else is still free. Well, the, listen. The reason is because obviously they have political. You know, they, they have power. Oh, for sure. But um, that's the real reason. But also, the reason they're not convicting him yet, there's no proof. You're just on. It just says you were on the plane to get to the island. So it's a list, but they said there is video footage of him getting fucking hand jobs from a fucking. There's plenty of video out there, yeah. Plenty of video out there. Prince Andrew, yep. Stephen Hawking. The thing is, Maxwell went to prison <laughs> for something, right? But so she testified. So they knocked her sentence down for for a reason. So she testified against somebody. We don't know who she actually gave up. We know that there's those people. But for all we know, she gave up fucking, what's his name? He's dead. So she's like, who gives a fuck? He's going to fake his own death. God knows what they did. Crazy shit. Yeah. Crazy shit. We got to fake our own death, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's actually legal to fake your own death. Um, except you can't, like, cash in to your life insurance plan and all that other shit because that's illegal. Because that's fraud, insurance fraud. But if you don't have life insurance, you don't have anything on your money when you, when, when you die, it's legal. Damn. Crazy. Show, I know. Show I up to my own do funeral. It. Be cool. I looked into it. Uh, have you guys seen that? Uh, do- <laughs> There's a documentary out called um, The Curious Case of Natalie Grace, Natalia Grace. Mm. <coughs> so, anyways, no. there was this um, Ukrainian midget, and she was like uh, six oh, years old. Oh, I think I've seen this post. Yeah, she's like five, six years old. And um, these, these white people uh, adopt her. And essentially, these white deep, these white people adopt her, and they um, they they think because they get her and they give her a bath and shit, and she has pubic hair, and then he goes, "What the fuck, you have pubic hair?" And uh, they go, "This girl's way older," and so this girl starts acting like a motherfucker, starts um, acting like Chucky, like trying oh, to stab she, them in she, their she, fucking she's night. The real life story of that movie, right? Um, Child's play? <laughs> no, the the movie. There's a movie just like the one you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, the girl goes crazy. Oh, I think I know what you're talking. About. Okay, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, that's um the 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 orphan or something like yeah, that. Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, that's yes, it. yes. So that's what they compared it to. Yeah. And um, basically, she tries to stra- stab him and shit, and they and they supposedly you know they uh, get a court to agree that to reage her to 22. So. She looks young as fuck, but the court agrees that she's 22 years old, <laughs> which is complete bullshit, right? Yeah. So it's enough to let her. Hey, DK, we found a girl for It's you. enough to throw her in an apartment by herself wow. in the hood. Wow. So this poor oh. fucking girl is, even if she's evil, she's in the hood, right? <laughs> and her even neighbors, she's evil. like she, they go, what the fuck? She does look young, but. Her neighbors hate her because her neighbor, she's always up their ass. She's kind of a creep to their kids. I guess, you know, well, was, she's a midget. <laughs> she was about to fucking suck one of the little boy's dicks. <laughs> Wanted a fucking old man. Okay. These are the stories, right? <laughs> oh Too many people telling you stories for these not to be true. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, they're yeah. saying, hey, no, man, it was the fucking um, that didn't happen. She says it didn't happen. It was the uh, it was the white family. It was it was actually the, the mom. And uh, the husband is just like, yeah, he was just a cuck. He just fucking agreed to anything. He was a, he was a bitch, and you'll find out he's a bitch. But it, the wife, she she threatened. She put pepper spray in my eyes. Oh shit! She uh, she beat me, and which you know all this shit did happen because he's like, yeah, I did have, I seen it. And um, anyways, long story short, it's crazy. It goes back and forth. The first season make makes you side with the family. The second season makes you side with her. And then at the end of it, she goes, like, she gets adopted by these this black family, right? Oh, so shit. now, <laughs> so now went from, like, her Ukrainian oh, accent no. to she's, like, like a hood accent, right? Oh, that's fucking <laughs> great. She goes, Jesus. oh, yeah, you know, y'all, right? And oh. But it, this guy's a preacher, okay? And he, he, <laughs> so she finally adopts, she, she finally gets adopted, changes her last name to their, their last name. 
And then at the very last episode, at the very, very end, he goes, I can't handle this bitch. This bitch is going. Or she, he didn't say bitch. He's like, I can't handle this girl. She's lied about everything. She's trying to destroy this family. And, and then it zooms in on her. And she looks all evil and shit. And her hair is all cut all dark. And I'm like, dude, I knew it. Evil. Anyways, that's. <laughs> try Guys, watch it. It's like the new Tiger King. Uh, it's funny. There's also another one, too, that I, I've been. God, obviously, I had a lot of free time, man. Ah, uh, <laughs> there's another one called um, I forget the name of it, but it's basically uh, I was turned on to it by the Osborne family because they mentioned it on their podcast. It's about this lady they call Mother Universe, and it might be called Mother Universe. But anyways, long story short, um, she is uh, she's with this she's with this dude. She leaves this dude to uh, uh, like she's I guess she's trying like starts like a like a like a big time. Um, like tries to be a star mm -hmm. and doesn't succeed and she eventually marries this old man that's like this is out in the country somehow some way she starts getting a following right like on tiktok or some shit because she, she wants to be famous um so she brings like a couple other dudes but she starts getting like a cult following and she calls herself mother universe so she starts selling like herbal shit right and there's this <laughs> shit that um that she takes it's a supplement that is in, I think it's called like something silver. It's something colloidal silver. Colloidal silver, okay. Mm -hmm. And a colloidal silver in, in small doses actually does help you like your sickness and helps you build your immune system. Right. She's obsessed with it, so she takes it a lot, right? So she starts building this cult following. Long story short, there's tons of people, um, but there's like maybe 15, 20 people, and they start selling shit. Like they make a lot of money, like <clears throat> damn near a million dollars. Damn. <clears throat> More towards the end of the, end of the thing. She starts taking more of the colloidal silver and she starts turning blue. <laughs> and she's still taking Violet, it. She's, get, Violet, she's Violet. getting sick, right? <laughs> this bitch is blue. Okay, at the end of the fucking episode, they run into this guy that's like an ex drug dealer or a crackhead. I think he still does drugs. <laughs> Probably. And uh, I mean, because she's been fucked by like everybody at this point. And he takes over the, the cult and he fucks it all up. <laughs> she she's and then at this point she's also dying she's like almost she's literally the so color she looks like blue. a blueberry she looks like a blueberry <laughs> she's dead they start transporting her body like she's waking at bernie's i swear and, it's, and she's in a blanket right and they transfer by like waking at bernie's and they still worship her finally the cops come by and they're like hey new dude because like her sister it's like no dude they have her I want a wellness check. They check on her. She's dead, right? And that's how you know she's blue because you see her body. It's all it's fucking, it's all mummified, and she's wow. blue. Wow. And they go, what the fuck? And then basically, long story short, none of them goes. I don't think any of them really went to jail for a very long time. Um, but they, there's only like two left in the cult, and they're still like thinking she's Mother Universe. It's Jesus crazy, Christ. dude. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Ch ch God, ch ch check it out, guys. People, check, 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 check. Um, hippies just to something to watch <laughs> if you're yep. bored as fuck yeah, 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 yeah we yeah. got some uh things going on like i said we have a film festival coming on in april guys i think we're gonna have it at the uh, three iron brewery so you guys could have uh free tickets it's all free i think we're gonna do it free this year <laughs> plus yeah it's beer dude you guys can drink beer and watch some fucking movies and um of course there's gonna be awards hopefully we can get my Phil, when you get the script going? Uh, well, it's coming up soon, dude. So if you can do it. I've been and then uh, shortly after that will be my 40th birthday slash going away in late June. Um, we'll end the show. And um, I will be 40 years old. And I'm moving to Kentucky, guys. Kentucky. To Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> and um, essentially will be the end of this show. I don't know if I'm going to do a new podcast, but maybe hopefully these guys get serious about doing one. I'll definitely, I'm, I definitely plan on trying to carry on uh, Psycho's Metal Asylum. Yeah. yeah, dude. For sure. Yeah. That'd get, be great. Get going. It would be. Get going. All you got to do is upload it to the computer and or do it from your phone. Who fucking knows? Who cares? But keep on keeping on because I like to hear you guys do that. And, um, you know, maybe one day you guys will move out there too. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe just rich. Maybe just drive on. Drive on. Uh, not looking... 
Not right now. No? Got to see what happens with uh, tomorrow. It's true. You never know. You don't. What's happening tomorrow? My date. Dude. <laughs> He's got a big date. He's going to have a bunch of little Travis's. <laughs> does, she know it's, does she know it's a date? She knows by, by last weekend when we were talking about her niece actually brought up being a date. And she's like, is it a date? I was like, I mean, I guess it is. And I even brought it up on a text message recently. Yeah. Dream so on. She knows. Wants that pussy. Hell yes, oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'll eat her ass, dude. Dream on, I'll eat her ass. Oh, yeah. He's got animal in, uh, instincts I right now. Might, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. If she has a bad day, he'll eat her ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You having a bad day, baby? We eat your ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show me a tuchus. Show me a tuchus. <laughs> After so many years of marriage with myself, I'm uh, I'm not eating her ass. I'm not eating my wife's ass. No. Show, show, out of control. <laughs> right. Not dude. Mm. He's like, <laughs> no, dude. Just He's me and my dear. Just, me and my dear are leaving. Just me and my dear. Actually, I'm leaving everybody else behind, <laughs> including my family. So, so see him right there, young buck. So, 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 so Brandon's gonna go with you, though, right? Of course, dude. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's gonna be great. And I'm gonna be very, very um, rich. Yeah. Very successful. I'm gonna run Kentucky. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna you. Know, <laughs> yeah. Man, I'll come down and visit. visit. Dude, we're gonna have like six or seven honey. California's dude. gonna get so bad. There was gonna be four. So bad. Yeah. People are going to be like, okay. Uh, the, the, the population has declined every year since. Yeah. And well, uh, I mean, like, once they get my welding certification, like I'll, do, I'll depend on where I'm at, I'll probably try to move out of state. But I want to get, I got to get my welding certs out here. It's better to get it out here than anywhere else. This is true. But there's going to be a lot of honeys, dude. Big ass Kentucky honeys. Some Kentucky honeys from the fucking college. Porcelain skin. Wearing Daisy yeah. Dukes. Daisy Dukes, beautiful hair. Mm-hmm. Smells good. It smells real good. It smells like. <laughs> it smells real smell good. Like it smells like fresh spring. Mm-hmm. Like limestone water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lotion. Like that fresh dew when you wake Smooth up in the morning. like that bourbon. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's, smells. that's the Kentucky I want. Yeah. It's the Kentucky I Some want. That's the Kentucky <laughs> we need. <laughs> Some ladies that smell like rose water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Lips taste like cherries. <laughs> <laughs> California, <laughs> California. It's uh, lips that taste like chips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah California is salty booties. <laughs> yeah, booties. Yeah. yeah, dude. Lips taste like Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> Ass tastes like refried beans. <laughs> <laughs> Breath smells like Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say freaking the hammer toe, but. Yeah. <laughs> Have a time. Yeah. We're gathered here today to <laughs> mourn the loss of Joe's hammer toe. <laughs> I am Joe. Yeah, dude. Jo- I'll tell you, the hammer toe is going to die second. <laughs> the, the hammer toe will die three days later. Yeah. Because the hammer toe can survive. Yeah. <laughs> the hammer toe going to survive. Or, or, or like Jesus, right? The hammer toe is going to give Joe his life back. Whoa. And Joe's going to rise after three days. And he's going to have no toe? No, the toe's going to fucking fall off. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's going to be normal. Again. Yeah, dude. DK is gonna go back to just. <laughs> no, nah, he's gonna Nothing. die. He's gonna, <laughs> no, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna die. <laughs> he's I'm dead. Dude. He's you all. dead. Fuck you, you ain't. Yeah, he's good yeah. as dead. Um, but... Spoken like a man who's dying. Yeah, I'm not, dying. not you. <laughs> DK. Oh, DK. <laughs> er, death knocking on his door. Knocking on, knocking on DK's that's, door. That's what that's what DK stands for. Death knocking. <laughs> death knocking. Death knocking. <laughs> death knocking on your door, bitch. Hey, well, DK. Answer. Hopefully you survive AIDS and um, yeah, a little bit longer. <laughs> a little bit longer. Instead of that, for that, that SmackDown statement, instead of Teddy Long, it'd be. Buckle up, DK. Because I'm not trying to fly out here for nothing, <laughs> for no damn funeral, you know. Yeah, exactly. Get it over with before Dude, I yeah, leave. If you're gonna and die. if you fuck up my fucking fortieth, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah, so just die around these months. <laughs> now, <laughs> what are we not? Draw around March. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker. Or um, April. Nah, not no, no, April. Uh, no, 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 April. We're busy. Or April. No, yeah. May, May. Yeah, May's a good oh, month. It's a good month to die. Spring. Before May. Yeah, do Some, do spring. May. Yeah. Beginning <laughs> do of May. Next month. Spring cleaning <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, do next You got to do the film festival. Yeah, die in May. May's a good month. You know what? Black History Month. He should die. 
Oh, February. He really should. Shit. Oh, and that's his birthday. And that is the last month of uh, uh, of uh, Shiesty said that he's going to die in February. Yeah. <laughs> Die, see, die, Jones. die. John might we'll die. Your your mom had a premonition. He was going to die in February. Fuck. Then it's going to be. Deacons. There's going to be two deaths in February. Oh yeah. Well, technically three because there's going to be yeah. John, DK, and Hammertoe. Yeah, the people are going out are Hammertoe, <laughs> DK, John, MC Hammertoe. Coco Love, <laughs> uh, MC Hammertoe. MC is for Mick. <laughs> Hamato, what's up, Hamato? Oh, yeah. Just kidding, DK. Oh, man. Well, pardon me, Mister Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, that's it for us, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Like I said, go to thecrewnetwork.net, yep. and uh, we will update all the information for the film festival coming up soon. Yeah. And other than that, uh, we'd like to thank everybody for listening to the show. And uh, Drayvon, go to rap. <laughs> I don't rap. <laughs> you don't say the N-word. You don't rap. <laughs> what do you do? Well, I mean, let's see. There was one I came up with a while ago. See if I can. Oh, Ooh, here slip not psycho. I saw the same. Watch your fucking back because they'll bring the pain. Take your girl home. Make her screw my name. Check it, motherfucker, because I'm insane. Ooh. That's the only one I've been able to come up with. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh. You gonna do something, Dick Power? <laughs> Bring your fucking ass to the three iron. Listen to my Cosby joke. We need to be crying. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna leave it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your ass to the fucking three iron. I got the bitches. They be fucking crying. I'm going doing some stand up right now. Go ahead and bring the cash cow. I'm the motherfucker that makes try tip. Suck the tip of my dick. <laughs> Trayvon. Trayvon is the winner. <laughs> All right, guys. Later. <laughs>